Hello all, welcome back to Shea Winnipeg Lake. Yes, I know I'm a day late for the face shave, but we'll get over it. We'll deal with it. Hang on, let me see this camera. That's a little better. All right, face shave today. Head shave later. Soap. DJ sent me a bunch of samples a while ago. I'm still working through them. Still got a couple left. Um, Murphy and McNeil, Cliffs of Moher. Um, the Cliffs of Moher are also the Cliffs of Insanity from The Princess Bride. If you remember that movie in the Cliff scene, that's where it was filmed. Um, scent notes. Cologne, C-O-L-O-N-E, no G in that. Cologne and fresh lavender. That's the top. The middle is greenery and spice, and the base is velveter. Excuse me, vetiver, musk, and light notes of wood. And it is a tallow based soap. Razor today. John L. King's greatest invention. The King Oscillating Razor. Wheel spin, blade moves. I think it's still moving. Yes, it is. Um, I used an Astro Blade. That's the shape of an original blade. I trimmed the edges off, the cutting edges off. But that's what the original blade looks like. And that's what you have to trim a modern DA, DE, DE blade to look like to work with it. A little bit of work, not a lot. You might mess up a blade or two trying to get it. And then you got to kind of center it and the modern DE blade is thinner so you use the original King blade without the blade edges as a spacer underneath to keep the blade in tight and the, and the lid just the top cap just flips up and snaps back down and then you just got to check it to make sure it's once the lid snapped down with the under, other blade underneath, it's in there tight. As you can see, it will it will oscillate. It will move back and forth. Okay. Just making sure the blade is in there correctly because we don't want to lose too much skin when we do this. It's not in right. Let me let me redo this. Sorry, guys. I have to reset the blade. Because the DE is not cut exactly perfect like the blade manufactured for this razor is. It will move a little bit when you close the lid, so you just you gotta check it and realign it and play with it a little bit. But it works fine once you get it in place. Okay. I forgot the name of the brush, I'm sorry. I'll put it in the description. My 22 millimeter badger, my granite badger, my granite shave bowl, floppy peaks. We're all set. And it is warm. It's been sitting on my hot plate for a half hour. So the soap is warm. So let's shave the face. Shave the face.
it's a good scent. I can I can pick up both the greenery and the ocean smell off of it because that's what it's supposed to represent. Standing on the edges of the edges of the cliffs with a breeze blowing from the greenery behind you, but yet you still have that ocean scent coming up in your face. That's good. Feels good. Feels wonderful. Let's oscillate. I can feel the wheels turning and I can feel the blade oscillating. Now, John L. King submitted his first patent on May 15th, 1928. But not for this razor. This razor he did not put a patent in until 1933. Or 32, excuse me, 32. He did four single edge razors and two double edge. So if you. And the one thing you cannot find ever is an oscillating single edge. I have been looking and looking and looking and I cannot find one. I take that back. I found one a few months ago. It was at an auction house and they wanted you to sign up and pay $49.99 to be a member of the auction house so that you could place bids it was a year it was for the year it was a yearly membership 50 bucks for the year so you could bid on items that they had for sale I just nicked myself right there I think I did oh yeah I did I can feel it but, sorry, I'm not paying you $50 for the privilege to bid on shit. But that's how they make their money. I'm not that big of a buyer, you know what I mean? If I was buying all kinds of crap all through the year and reselling it and stuff, that would be different. Or collecting it even. That would be different. But that's not what I do. Now this razor here was sold in England. France and Australia but under different names
gives a good shave. It does. I'm not sure if the oscillation is needed for the good shave, but it does give a good shave. See, I told you I got myself right there. I felt it. My skin went, I could feel my skin go up underneath the blade because I was dry and I should have stopped and I didn't. So that was definitely user error. So how's everything going for everybody out there? Oh. Happy Greek Easter to all you who celebrate Greek Easter. Same spots I always have problems with. Right here too. I might have to carterize that one. Right there too. What do I always say guys? If I ain't bleeding, I ain't shaving. Good now. Excellent. This thing does really give a good a good shape. Uh, it's surprising that it does, but it really it gives a good shape. I don't know what they're going for now if you can even find one for sale right now. I don't know, I didn't look. Oh, that's a bloody mess. Guess we're done with that one. All right, Allen block. Nothing, nothing going on around here, guys. Same shit, different day. Just, I was gonna do it. That was about a seven. <laughs> the face is about a one. Next about a two and a half to three. Except for right there, I got
got myself pretty good. See all the red? Sorry. I'll rinse that off in a bit. <sighs> Alum for when you really need to hit those high notes. More uses than a little bit. Wall green switch hazel. I just hadn't used that razor in a while and I was like, okay. Because I was looking to what, what to use for my shave. Yeah, like I was saying, I was gonna come in and do a shave at 2.30 this morning and my eyelids said, no, you are not, you are going to bed. My eyelids were doing. After shave, Avon Spicy. In the radio decanter, the lid in the sink. Oh, okay. Alcohol on an open cut. Yeah. That'll make you sing its praises. Nivea Maximum Hydration Aftershave Balm. And with that, I will say thank you all for watching. I appreciate you all. My regular subscribers, all the new people, appreciate you. Don't forget, to, if you're going to buy from the Razor Company, use the affiliate link. I do get a kickback on the affiliate link. Yes, I do. But when that account hits $25, I go ahead and get a $25 gift card to the Razor Company and do a giveaway on this channel for you guys to win that gift card. I don't make anything off the affiliate link. That's you guys. You use the affiliate. You use it. You get the money back. One of you does. Well, see, I'm going to have to carterize that. That's not wanting to heal or stop bleeding. But anyways, don't forget the... Uh, Four channels I'll put in the description box. Please give those guys a like and a sub. I'm sure they'd appreciate their numbers going up too. All right, guys, I appreciate you all being here for a day late face shave, which I got myself a couple times. But I expect that with that because the blade is not exactly perfect. I mean, it works, it's good, but it's not. The original design blade for that so it's a little it's always gonna be a little wonky when you do that I mean it does it does oscillate though so it does give you the shave you're supposed to get what can you say all right, guys, I appreciate you being here. Thank you very much. You all take care. Have a good Sunday. And done with the babbling pack guy in the camera. You're in a chair next. Happy shaves out there, guys.